Nizella the rat monster, oh boy. Look at that, that's so cheesy. And that pun is intended. His eyes are bugging out of his head. He has this turtle-like hump. Maybe the Ninja Turtles and Splinter merge into one, and he keeps flailing his arms about. I've never seen a monster overact so badly. I didn't know it was possible. Come on, it's not scary. Reminds me of some of the Godzilla monsters or some of the Power Rangers villains. They always flail about and overact. There are gore hounds who will specifically berate a movie for not being gory, and I'm not one of those people. But this one, even I admit, is pretty pathetic. All the kills are off screen. With this one, I thought my DVD was broken, but it just randomly cuts to black. <laughs> what? The movie starts out like a slasher flick, and that's what you expect when there's a giant killer rat stomping about. But the deaths happen so fast you almost miss them, and then it becomes a totally different movie after the first 20 minutes. First of all, it's so confusing! People in Japan are getting sick from a virus, and somebody sends this military platoon of five to kill a rat in an abandoned laboratory where they were conducting experiments for the government. I thought it was the Japanese army, but they're actually US, but still talk Japanese. One of them happens to be a spy for the US? She was going to sabotage the mission by blowing the place up so there was no evidence, and then for some reason this one guy is Japanese, Everything just blows over my head. I stopped trying to figure it out after a few minutes. And after everyone is dead, the rest of the movie is either these two guys talking or about a doctor and a nurse trying to save the infected. This was right around 9-11. There's definitely a theme of terrorist attacks and the anthrax scares. And these people dwell into their past, get sentimental, talk about their families and what life really means. And that's fine. You can implement a serious or a theme to a horror or suspense movie. Most of them have that, but not for 70 out of the 90 minutes, and it's not going to be taken seriously when you have this goofball running around. And then there's moments like this. Why are they beating her to death? She has the cure to save the infected. It's hysterical. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the pacing is so slow. That's the one thing that flat out ruins a movie for me. It can be a low-budget horror movie, but if it's fast-paced and a lot of silly stuff happens, I'm entertained. But these guys just sit here for like 10 minutes straight, talking. It's a movie! Move! Even the monster just loiters around. Come on! Do something! They're just staring! Move! Fucking bull stuff! I didn't pay $40 for this DVD to watch you stand there! I rarely get so disappointed and angry. In a movie, I'm usually jovial about any film, but it was just bottom line boring. You think you can pick away all the mold and eat this piece of cheese, but it's best to just pitch this movie aside. An upset stomach isn't worth it.